Oh, hi, son. Hi, Dad. What do you know about residential schools, son? So, residential schools would take any, would take Hokumatum kids when they were like six, they would take them from their home all the way to a residential school and they would be six and they'd have to live there until they were 13. Man, that's terrible. Like, what else happened there? And if they had a Hokumatum name, they'd give them an English name, but then they wouldn't even use an English name. They'd just call them by a number. A number? Do you want people to call you by a number? No. Sha, what else happened there? Um, if you whined about your mom or dad or or spoke your language, you would be wrapped with a um leather a black leather belt so hard that you would bleed. My do you know why they would do that to people, son? Because they wanted them to learn English, but I don't know why. What do you think would be the worst aspect of having to head to residential school? Um, the part where if you're really bad, they chop your head off. Oh, 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 oh my, they chop your head off? They kill you. Gee, that's pretty sad, hey? So are you happy that you don't have to go? Yes. Do you know that um, uh, um, uh, 50 years ago you would have to go? You wouldn't have a choice? At, you know, the age that uh, you know you, uh, you are now. So you are how old? Eight. And you would have to be in residential. Isn't that sad? Mm -hmm. Do you know anybody who had to go to one of these? All of Papa's brothers. Yeah. And... Uh, who else? Do you know anybody else? Papa's um, a dad, too. So, if you knew people who had to live um, through all that, what would you want to say to them? I hope you... Uh, I hope they... I hope you get the English out of your brain and can start speaking Hokumatnam again. That's pretty strong, son. And have fun with your parents. Yeah. Okay, well, um, thanks for the, um, lesson here today, bud. You're welcome.